Hello, Icon fans! This is Shadow 33 bringing you an FP VOD of me versus Vikran on a brand new map called Cordova. It's, in case you're wondering, it's not based off of the city of Cordova in Spain, it's actually based, it's named after Cordova Street in Vancouver, British Columbia. Anyhow, so I'm going to be starting out with Greckham. I'm going to be actually experimenting a bit with a strategy I've been thinking about. There have been some weird metagame shifts with Greckham where they become kind of weak and seem like they're too dependent on air. And in general, the game feels too dependent on air, so I'm just thinking maybe if I actually, or people actually try using base class units, which I'm going to try using a lot of here, it might actually turn out that Greckham aren't so bad. So I'm just going to be experimenting with this, and we'll see how this goes. So I'm just starting out, building up my basic start, getting kind of a perfect start, not a super perfect start, mostly worried about going towards the future as quickly as possible, and getting very rapid octos. I'm not sure what my opponent Vikarin is going for right now. I'm not sure where he is either. I'll have to listen for him somewhere. Because Greckham really doesn't have units that are fast enough to scout by sight, but I can of course scout by hearing. So that will work just as well. I'm going to jump back to where he is and see if I can hear him out. No, I cannot hear where he is, so... I'm clearly not at the best spot in time, so I will have to figure that out probably by sight later on. Anyway, back to when I was at the 148 mark, building up a Seppi, which will be used to very quickly, actually, building a couple of Faros as well. I just want to get myself up a fairly decent defensive perimeter, as well as a Reef, just to have healing capacity. Reefs are very useful for healing, as well as for the tech, but healing is what I'm focused on right now. And I'm just going to also get myself set up nicely so that I don't have to worry so much about getting attacked directly. Faros are generalist units, they aren't specifically anti-air, and air is often a very powerful strategy that players use. Also going to take advantage of this just to scout out, setting this up as a bookmark. Sending out the Faros as scouts, keeping an Octo at home, and also going to get a couple Seppies and another Faro. And get advanced structures, because I may not want to get a Spire very quickly, but a Dome very quickly would be useful. And so that is what I'm going to be doing right away. Getting at least one of the Octos into a Dome. Turning this reef into another, or stepping to another reef, because I do want to make sure that I have some healing capacity around, but I'm going to try to avoid bubble wrapping, although that may be a bad idea, just because I don't want to completely pigeonhole myself into this one section of the map. And let's see if I can just fast expand out into a safe expansion behind me here. Cordova has a few of these, but it's not a particularly safe expand heavy map. Anyway, jumping back to when I sent out the Faros, I'm going to just send them both out to the bottom left corner of the map, which I believe is where Vikarin is currently. And I want the Octo to stay here because I do not want him to go out. He is going to be building a dome very soon. Going back to fast forward, I'm just going to be getting that dome up. Getting myself nothing really new, so actually I might as well just jump back to when I was... No, I haven't propagated the move orders yet for the Faro and Seppi. That will be coming soon. Once that happens, I will be setting up a... Okay, get dome beam for this. I will be setting up my Faro and Seppi as another triad in the top right corner, and setting up Seppis as well for harassment protection. And I think if I'm looking correctly, I hear it. Yes, I have found he is, Vigrin is in fact going for CISO, and I have actually placed my units in a bad position. They are going around the buildings. I need to have them go, to have the Faro go up here first before going towards his base so that they are attacking together rather than trying to attack apart because they seem to have died attacking apart. That way, they'll actually stay alive and, of course, not die, which is I wouldn't want to have happen. Let's see, so the Special Ops should be coming here. Get my Faro into a better position before it goes out to attack again. And my Faro and Seppi in the back should be in position fairly soon. And Special Ops is going to be going down to the two Faros. This time, a lot more successful than the last time. Getting this dome as well. Actually, you know what? I might actually want to get a dome in the middle of the map, now that I think about it. Because he is going for a proxy factory, and in order to deal with that, I am going to need to have... Domes. I'm not going to be able to do this with... No, not you. You go back here, undo what you did, and build a dome. Because I... No, oh, once advanced structures is researched, of course. So now that advanced structures is researched, I can build the dome right next to here and get rid of this a lot more easily than I could have otherwise. Not sure where my Seppi and Faro are, though. Oh, they still haven't been built yet. So once they're built, then I can actually deal with this properly. And help get rid of these... RPs, although I really would rather get rid of this factory. These RPs are probably a better priority at the moment. 
and Faro, you can go along and kill other things. Actually, Dome should kill this RP and then go off kill the other RP. Vikran's probably already taken care of this, and let's see, yes, he has gone back, set up his Faro, and actually, the Faro, one of the Faro's managed to survive that, so I'm going to be in a better position this time around, this iteration through. And my second reef is being built up, so at this point, I haven't actually really changed anything that I had before, but I will send these guys back earlier than I had. And we'll send you back, send you to, you are here, and I want you to go here and then progenerate from there. And the two, and the Octo here will also go out, see if I can find if he's out in the bottom expansion. Let's see, coming back to when he is, he is actually changing around how his factory set up. He's setting up to avoid the dome entirely, not a bad strategy. So. That's the second factory, by the way, so the dome will have to go into a different spot, and will have to, of course, be reset up with... Actually, I'm not going to get dome beam this time. It's probably not worth it. I do need the resources for having resources. I don't need to necessarily build up that way as aggressively as I was before. And get a, get a Sebi here for patrolling. So at this point, I have pretty much entirely used base class units. I haven't been using any pod class or... Well, I'm getting an Octopod now, but I haven't used any pod class units. I definitely haven't used any air units. Just setting up the dome and the faro, getting rid of this RPs here. So that's 150 resources that have been destroyed for Vicarin that he hasn't actually been able to use very much. Although, going back in the Impaled Pass, it looks like he has tried to get rid of my attack. He's been, succeeded in getting rid of one of the Faros, but not one of the Octos, and the Octo actually managed to build the dome in his original spot. So that dome is going to be as effective as it was originally, and it's only going to be one factory. A bit less of a waste for Vicarin, but I'm still not in a great position. I still need to try to push out and get myself into a much safer position than I have been already. And get myself into a better resource spot as well. I get myself better economy. And once that happens, I will be able to actually deal with... Well, finish off dealing with his proxy. Vicarin very much enjoys using these proxies, so I'm not surprised he went for it. I was, I was looking for it, in case you were wondering. And I definitely found it. So, there you go. He has not changed his style much in that respect. Get these Octos up as well, and that will allow me to have a much more safer base. Now, at this point, I'm going to start building air units, because this is the point where I actually have the resources and a fairly safe base with which to build air units. And now the Blue Time Wave. Seems that Vicarin has decided to attack me a little bit on the Blue Time Wave. Sending a tank in from his... Yeah, he is sending a tank in from the factory. So the factory is actually now producing units. A mech as well. But this dome is actually doing quite a bit to pay for itself. In all honesty, I don't mind the fact that it's going down right now. An Octopod will be sent up very quickly to deal with the rest of this factory. And the fact is, he has... Uh, wait, what? Uh, yes, he apparently had... I'm going to have to check about that. I don't think I'm supposed to see that production. But anyway, he has a bunch of factory units building up, and this factory is not really going anywhere. I don't really care about taking care of it right now. My bigger concern is taking care of his base, his... His oct or this Octopod will be very useful in taking care of the base going back around. And like I said, I am building up... I'm going to get Aspire fairly quickly. Start building up some air units. And from there, actually get myself further up in the tech race. The whole point of this build was to... Oops, I guess I didn't really need to do that. The whole point of this build was to set up a fairly safe economy. Keep myself in a position where I actually had... I wasn't getting completely destroyed, but right now I'm not in a great position, and I've got to go back and move the Seppi into a much more defensive position. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up screwing myself over. So it's pretty clear that this Octopod is not in a great position, and the other Octopod will have to not go into the base and attack the importers. Will have to stay up and attack the Tornad coming in. Actually, I wonder where that dome is. A dome would be really convenient right about now. As well as a couple more Seppis. And a tank is here as well to help take care of the Octopod. The Octopod, I'm going to move back into position to get more into position with the Reefs. I mean, as much as I don't want to be totally bubble wrapping, I still have a bubble wrap I can take advantage of. So, you just patrol here. Oh, shoot. That's going to be a problem. Well, at any rate, if I can just keep him in a... Ah, i got to keep him in a, still a decent position. Okay, this was not, not necessarily the best setup with the... Oh crap, okay, not the best setup with... Ah, shit. Sorry, I'm not commentating what it should be. It's not the best setup, as I was saying, with the reefs, but still worked out decently well. I should probably actually bubble wrap myself properly now. Now that I have myself a little bit of leeway. 
and deal with this proxy that's going on and also get a far pot as well because now I actually have a safe economic base with which I can build a bunch of pod class units and not have to worry about trying to survive barely with them. Because the problem with the way Grecum was, I was playing Grecum before, and it seems like Grecum was being played before, was that it was really easy to get yourself mired in trying to defend and trying just to stay alive. And oh hey, it's a macro path. Anyway, trying to defend and just stay alive and not worrying enough about keeping yourself in a position where you actually could develop. Oh crap, and he seems to have found my expansion. Well, it doesn't matter so much. It did its job. The important part of that expansion was to make sure that I was able to avoid any real issues with... Oh, you, should, you guys should actually be going back here. Not... No, shit. Anyway, you guys should go back to deal with this tornado. I don't want all my... <laughs> I don't want all my effort to be destroyed. I just want most of it to be at least there. I don't want to have... Like I said, that was meant to give me an economic base, which has been used, and now I'm able to get rid of these macrofabs without having to worry so much about my economy. And now a tank is going towards the north, and yes, Tornauts have found where I am towards the north as well, and are becoming a bit of an issue. Regardless, I like I said, do have the economy to deal with this. Though I am starting to run out, and I really should start expanding elsewhere. Those can be seen, my actual my economy to the northeast has managed to stay alive. So at this point, it seems like a good a good as good a time as any to move out for an attack. My opponent does not seem to have changed his tactics up much. He is, however, going back and it looks like he is trying to change up his tactics. However, not attacking my main base may have been a mistake on his part. Okay, I want you to build a dome. I want you to go forward and actually no, I want you to go forward. Okay, the Martank is going to be worrisome. This is something I want to take care of right now, because that is going to be a very big problem if I don't. The tanks are annoying, but the Martank is going to be deadly. And I think that was actually a bit of a mistake on Vikran's part. He may have changed things up. He's going to jump back to the Nightwing 3 mark. No, he's not changed up too much. So I should start going forward a bit more, and actually... Oh crap, am I running out of LC production? Yes, I am running out of LC production. This is bad. I seem to have lost my triad up in the north as well, although I'd already lost that. So I don't need to worry about that too much. You guys should go over here. And you should continue to attack as you were before. Now, this is the point where I'm going to have to get a bit worried, because I didn't have as good of a position as I would have liked. You two, I want you to go over into the plaza over here and progenerate. As for this Octo, it should build up a dome of its own. And the Faropod is able to take care of what I needed to take care of. So I'm still, I still think I'm in a fairly safe position, but I'm starting to get worried, especially as my LC production has slowed considerably, which is not something I wanted to have done. That's almost more of a mechanical error than anything I wasn't paying not as much attention to as I should have been. Now one thing to note about all this is that I'm able to just... Oh crap, there is a Mar tank here that I didn't manage to get rid of in time. I should probably go back and deal with that while I had a chance. Oh shit. Not even... Come on, let's go. Let's go, Farpod. Oh, shit. Okay, the Farpod's gonna have to die. This is a bad spot. Okay, now I'm in a bad spot. Although I do know that there's a Martan coming in here, so I can actually deal with it now, instead of having to deal with it once it's next to my base and attacking my Arcticus. Sepipod is not the best unit for dealing with Martanks, but at least it's a unit that can deal with them quickly enough that it's not a huge problem. And don't you have... Oh, you don't have to upgrade it. Shit. Okay, anyway. We do have... Farpod out now, and I can send out what I need to do. Oh crap, I sent you all out here. That's why I don't have my army. Because I sent them out to attack instead of... Except you guys, I want you guys here because I want you guys to develop a secondary base. And it's kind of funny, I haven't gotten Chronoprint yet. I really probably should, but I haven't. That would help, I'm, I'm sure. I just have not actually gone and done it. And it looks like... Yeah, Vikran has really taken advantage of these mobility to keep himself around the map and make it very difficult for me to counter him because he's just wherever I want to go he's already there no matter I will have I will be able to get out of this as long as I just keep myself going don't get too don't panic as long as I don't panic I should be fine I do want to get myself into a position where I can at least build some more air units I'm still getting up air units but I'm not getting completely like I said for mired in trying to survive. I am able to get myself into a position where I'm at least 
somewhat safe. I just not in the best position that I would have liked to have. So at this point, I'm a little bit worried. I don't have the best economy base anymore. It's starting to slow down, and Vikran may have already figured out where I have gone. Just gonna double check, jump back about two minutes. It looks like he has in not figured out where I've gone, but he doesn't care either. Getting heavy cruisers and using them to deal with what I have instead of just instead of attacking my secondary bases. This does give me some time to recover if I want to, but it is rather more difficult to actually get out of the situation I'm in right now. Given that he doesn't have he's still in a really good position, and I'm not. My position has started to really falter, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get out. No, you will, you will build, you will build RPs. I told you to build RPs originally. That's why you exist. You were born to build RPs. You're born to harvest resources. That's all you will ever do in your life. I know it sounds like a meaningless life, but it actually makes a huge difference to me. And I am the commander of you, so you will do as I say. Because I'm megalomaniacal like that. Anyhow. Since the dome is, however, quite helpful with the charge beam, I am able to get out of this somewhat, but I'm still in a very tough spot. And you notice I'm not really caring about that so much. I do have a much more important set of RPs over here, which Vikrant has not found yet, and which will be a problem if they are discovered, of course. But at this point, it, I'm not too worried. My main base has been properly bubble wrapped, so it won't be too, under too much threat, but it is still under a whole lot of threat. Wait, why am I focusing on this over here? Like, seriously, you, you guys go over and fight this, these tornadoes. I don't want you to fight in the factory. The factory is a waste of time. Don't fight the factory, fight the tornadoes. And the frigates. And kill them. And stop them from harassing my base too much, because otherwise I'm going to have a really bad position. I want to make sure that I'm at least getting something of a net gain in my income, because I need to have money to live. Oh yeah, get rid of the heavy cruiser too. So, one thing that has been going for me pretty well is that I haven't been losing a lot of money compared to what I've been spending, but unfortunately I'm also not in a great position. Vikran has been able to expand quite rapidly around the map and use that to his advantage greatly, meaning that I haven't had that easy of a time actually staying alive. He's able to get enough resources that, even though he's spending a ton of money, he's actually making up for it quite handily, which means I'm going to have to deal with this, and it's going to be very difficult for me to do so. I, well, I guess basically what I need to do is get, basically need to get, I know I'm using basically a lot, I need to get myself some, well, somewhat of a better position, get myself to harass us importers, the importers are the big thing that need to go, if I can get rid of the importers then I will be in a really good spot, and from there I will be able to deal with, well I won't have to deal with anything because you won't be able to build any more units, however the importers are tough for me to actually take care of. Especially as he's not really focusing too much on his main base. He is definitely not spending most of his attention on the main base. He's focused a lot more on these expansions that he's built around the map. These interminable expansions that he has built. And he will be quite problematic as a result to fight. At this point, I feel I really should be getting chronoporting. Or at least should be starting to get chronoporting. I would almost be surprised if he didn't have it by now. And I'm a little bit surprised I don't have it by now. Though I'm also a bit worried that if I do get it, I will end up completely shooting myself in the foot. Well, we'll see. Anyway, bookmarking this spot, I want to just double check what's going on back here. It looks like... No, it looks like I'm still staying alive. I'm doing fine. So, I don't have to worry about that. What I do have to worry about is the fact that I am in a bit of a risky position on those RPs. I do need to take them, and I do have his importers down. Oh, shit. I gotta keep myself. I gotta keep the chronoporting going because that's gonna be really useful for me. Looks like he is dealing a fair amount of damage to my units, and if I can at least keep them in a paradox state of life, then that's better than nothing. Where are you, Gate Tech? Okay, Gate Tech is done, and I will be able to actually chronoport these guys back right now. So that will at least hinder some of his efforts earlier on in the past, and it looks like, you know what, actually might actually not be a big deal. I, oh wait, no, he did damage a bunch of my stuff, and seems to have undermined that chronoport in, in its entirety. Why did that chronoport not happen? Oh crap, he did have managed to undermine, well actually I know why the chronoport didn't happen, he managed to undermine me quite effectively. Uh, man, this Mar 
thing is actually getting quite annoying. I didn't expect it to be that annoying to try to deal with this, but it turns out it was. So anyway, no chrono porting. Instead, get units. Make up with for lack of units with more units. And get some RPs here, too. Oh, he killed the other RPs in the back? No, I must have... That was a while ago. Oh, shoot. No wonder I didn't... I didn't even notice those RPs were dead. Ah, oh, man. Those those are my India. Those are my... Those are the jewel in the Grecan crown. I... How did I lose that? Alright, I'm gonna have to really take care of this. Because these Mar tanks are becoming very annoying. This dome, thankfully, is bubble wrapped, but the others are not, and as mentioned, that is a bit of a problem. <sighs> Admittedly, that dome was not in the best position, but still. I... Wow, you, you get into pro-generation mode. We gonna, we have to get some more Seppies going. Oh crap, I don't have the resources for Seppies. <sighs> so even with it seems like even with getting base class units, unless I, I mean, okay, admittedly, I did get undermined a lot, but to be fair, I had a really hard time just even staying in a position where I could avoid getting undermined. You will attack here. You'll actually go back further in the past. No, I don't even have to. He's already taken care of that. He's gotten rid of that triad. No one's about this triad, so this triad's pretty much doomed. And I have got another triad in place. And it's kind of worrisome that I feel like I actually need to have another triad in place in order to stay alive at this point. But yes, that's exactly how I feel. Like, I need to have a bunch of secondary triads just to stay alive. Which feels like a cheese strategy to me. I mean, admittedly, that just me may be my old StarCraft habit saying you shouldn't have to be hiding your base in order to live, but seriously, this is kind of ridiculous. That being said, this already has a balance thread in the forums. I just was trying to figure out if it if it really was a balance issue, and it's still hard to say, but at least this video will provide some good analysis mater material for people actually wanting to figure this out, or looking into figuring this out. I did some things wrong, and I certainly didn't expect as much as I should have in terms of what Vikern was doing, but regardless, I wasn't, like, I got a good position. Admittedly, I probably threw it away at some point, but, oh well, I guess I'm done. I hope you enjoyed that. I apologize it wasn't more entertaining from my end. I didn't win, but at least hopefully it was informative, and have a good night.